Hey ladies, it's Tara with Sweet Country Glam. And today I'm super excited, it's the weekend. My husband and I are gonna be doing a competition with our terracotta pots and seeing who can be the most creative. The best part is that you are the judges, so please comment below on who you feel is the winner. Also, uh, please make sure that you like and hit subscribe. It's great because then we can continue bringing you awesome content and tutorials. Make sure you click that bell notification so you'll be alerted when we make a new video. Well, let's get started. Where is she? I don't know. She took off. There she is. <laughs> Alright guys, we have these white vases. These are old projects of mine that I attempted to do. I don't know if you can see that color in there. We're leaving that in there. I painted them white. It's a competition. Me versus her. But there's an added effect in here. I did hire a professional artist to do a third one. He remains to be unnamed. He doesn't want his face on camera and he doesn't want to be told who he is. So we are going with that. You have three choices. Which one's better? Mine, hers, or the professional artist who remains to be unnamed. Let's get to it. Let's start it. our sign out in the garage <laughs> that's okay we can make it work all right so I have my pot so why the unnamed artist and my husband are out in the garage working on their pots I snuck away because I am coming straight to design space and I'm gonna walk you through what I'm gonna do for my pot I think one of the great things about a flower pot when you think about it you think of something growing something blooming I really think that this would be something we need to use a plan where so I found a couple of sayings in design space, like one says live life in full bloom. I love that. So I figured we're going to get some really pretty vinyl to stick to this guy. And then I'm gonna cut out and have uh, the Cricut cut out some vines and whatnot. So hopefully that will add some jazz to this white pot and make it really pop. Okay, all right, well, let's get going. Okay, ladies, I'm in design space now. I have a couple of designs here. Um, I got this one from the Cricut Believe Achieve Succeed mug, but just because it's for a mug doesn't mean you have to put it on a mug. You can put it on whatever you feel you uh, want to have this saying put on. You could put it on a shirt, you could put it on an apron, you can put it on a, you know, one of those really pretty um, hand towels that are in your kitchen, that kind of thing. So possibilities are endless. You just have to decide where you want to have the same. I like this one, be always blooming and then lift life in full bloom. I think what I want to do is now when you're working with more of these uh, cursive letterings, you got to be careful when you weed them because they do get a little tricky. Um, I think for right now, I'm going to put two things on there. I really like living life in full bloom, so I think I'm going to keep this guy as one of my options, but I'm not going to put him on this pot just because my terracotta pot is really, really tiny. Uh, I think I'm going to be better off doing Be Always Blooming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my eyeball, and I'm going to hide that one, and then I'm going to hide this guy. I'm going to bring this guy up so then that way I don't lose those projects because I'll probably want them later. Then I need to find, I'm going to go over to images and you can bear with me here. Let's look up and see what kind of flower. Mm, you know what? I said vines. Let's go back to, oh, I said wines. Hmm, where's my mind going? <laughs> Let's go to vines. All right, let's see if there's anything I'm only in here I want to use that would be easy to work with and that would really pop. Let's see. Let's come back here. These are really nice. 
So I'm going to insert those because then I can put those on both sides. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger just so that it really wraps around. All right, so I'm going to go cut this and let's see what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to hit make it and let's see what this looks like. Super excited. Okay, so I have my blooming saying right here and I like this uh, Sizer Azure Easy Weed from Vinyl Packs, super pretty. This isn't a heat transfer. I bought it thinking it was a heat transfer, but it's not, so this is really beautiful. So I actually used this same uh, color on our um, bridesmaids and groomsmen cups that I made for our wedding. So, and they came out beautiful because it was a winter wedding. So super pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed this and I have my vinyl in for my green vines. And again, I'm using um, like a metallic um, chrome looking uh, vinyl from Cricut. And again, all the materials I'm using will be in the links in the description. So really pretty color. I think this is gonna be really pretty vines. And then I have my pot, which is colored yellow, and then the base in a really pretty like petal pink color. So trying to really attract those bees I'm gonna put some pretty flowers in it when we're done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this weeded and we'll be back to put it on the pot. All right, all done. Nice, beautiful, and shimmery. Gonna get ready to go on my pot here soon. Gotta go ahead and get those vines weeded and ready to go. Okay ladies, so now I have my pot, nice and that beautiful sunshine yellow. Okay. And I cut out my green vine. This one didn't want to cut all the way, so I'm gonna see how I wanna work him, but I think I'm only gonna need this guy. I uh, was looking at the measurements in my pot and it looks like I'm barely gonna have enough room, so I need to make sure I can put this sign on there. So I was looking at my measurements, um, may have to overlap on the lip and have it come down. So I should have made it a little bit smaller, but we're gonna make it work. All right, so I'm gonna need to get my transfer tape going, my strong grip transfer tape. So I wanna cut out, what I'm gonna do is just so that I can strategically place it I'm going to just cut a long strip out because in that way I'm just going to work with just peeling off the top two words, be always, and if anything I could just put thinking off the top of my head. Instead of just putting be always, I'm just thinking of just put blooming and just put that on there instead of having the letters overlap because I want this to look awesome. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I can just reprint the bottom part for a bigger pot and then it can say be always blooming. Or I could put be blooming. See the possibilities are endless. See when you're working with these different materials you can always find different ways to be like well I was going to start it off this way but I found a better way. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Take a little bit of the sticky off. the blooming and then I want to peel back at that 45 degree angle and it's nice if this comes off beautifully look at that not a problem taking that off so I got my pot okay and then I'll bring you over here so you can see how I place it so you can see my pot there sorry my stand isn't very good it doesn't want to stay right there Okay, so I'll move him back. All right, so I'm gonna set him right there. And you always wanna start with the middle. Looks part of sweet. What do you think? No, yay? Not good enough? Well, let's keep going then. All 
right, ladies. Well, working with still tacky paint, we didn't fare uh, in my favor, unfortunately. Um, but I tried to make it work. Uh, just to let you know that I had to cut apart my vine, and I actually made him into made that one into a butterfly. So I will show you the rest of the unveiling when we put them all side by side. Um, Definitely was not uh, my best handiwork, but we'll see what the guys did. All right, let's go to the judging panel. All right, friends. Well, before I show you the pots, make sure you comment down below on who you feel the winner is. And also make sure you like and subscribe to our page. That way we can bring you some awesome content and show you all the great projects that we're working on. Also, make sure you hit that bell notification so you'll be alerted when we do our next video. Make sure you tune in because we're going to be working with epoxy resin and making some awesome jewelry. So, let's do the unveiling. All right, friends. Here is the finale. We have number one done by my wonderful husband. Then we have number two done by myself. And then number three, the mystery man, the mystery artist. Remember, life is sweet, set some goals, and have a blessed day.